Hi, this is JP from Not Allowed Server Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough with Patrice Hathaway. And we are playing through the return to the path to Carcosa. We are up to the Pallet Mask. Uh, the last scenario went horribly. <laughs> we died in two turns. And that means we start uh, the game uh, resolving that we woke up in the uh, catacombs. So we picked a random location, which is the secret passage. And then uh, luckily we had uh, the Haruko's information and also Haruko is dead. So she won't make an appearance in this scenario. So we got to take a random uh, card from the catacombs deck and place it uh, revealed side face up. And uh, then uh, we put these locations into play. The only thing uh, basically left to do before we can start is go through the changes in my deck. There are none. We got zero experience again. So we still continue with the same deck and I'll just put the link into the video description. Uh, next, we need to resolve the tarot reading. So we are again doing the balanced reading uh, with also uh, the damned weakness, so we will be drawing two reversed tarot cards and one upright. So we just quickly shuffle tarot deck here and pick one upright, and we get the wheel of fortune. So once, let's see, uh, once each act, when any investigator reveals uh, auto fail token, the investigator may cancel it and. Re uh, treat it as a zero token instead, so that is really good. But uh, the reversed first one is decrease each investigator's maximum hand size by three. Uh, that is just that will just kill Patrice. So we'll we'll limp through this scenario. And the last one is each investigator gets minus one health. So uh, we already have two. Uh, physical trauma, so we have four health remaining, and uh, I think this will go poorly for Patrice, but it is what it is, so we'll power on through, and that is the <laughs> tarot deck for you. So, uh, auto fails we can ignore once a turn, but we only draw two cards because our hand size is uh, two now. And uh, we start with one less uh, health. So uh, that is all we need to do. So let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start. Let's see how this goes. So we'll draw our opening hand. Uh, it is a whopping two cards. So we only draw up to our hand size. So and my hand size is reduced by three already. So it is only two. So we get a specular eraser and uh, we'll just redraw. Okay, well, something to get some clues early on. That's at least helpful. So I think we'll just play the raven, grab this clue, uh, play the old key ring and move to the mound of bones and go from there. But this is not looking good at all. Okay, first action. We'll play Old Keyring. Uh, we don't use it yet. Uh, we'll play the Mysterious Raven. So those cost two actions. I'll just immediately use the Raven. Take a horror and grab this clue. And that is a free action, so we still can move over here. And that is our turn, so we ready up. We draw a whopping of two cards, uh, Miss Doyle and Scrounge for Supplies, and uh, we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So first we add a Doom. Uh, the encounter card for this round is <laughs> Malformed Skeleton. Well, of course. How could this go any worse? So, oh yeah, at the end of 
the current round search and counter deck and discard pile for the Malhorn and spawn it at the moment. Okay, so uh, we actually spawned this last round. I forgot to read the card. So this is already engaged in dust. Uh, so just mark it down. So let's draw. So <laughs> this is getting even better. So the uh, encounter card for this round is Obscuring Fog. So not that big of a problem, but this is a problem. So first action. We'll try to evade this malform skeleton. And I am two against one, so uh, just hoping. Uh, minus one, well, at least the chaos pack is merciful. So this enemy is evaded. So let's read. Uh, so, uh, so for a uh, hunter, uh, four, four, one monster forced when malformed skeleton would be. Solve its hunter keyword if there are no investigators within two locations of it. Instead of resolving its hunter keyword, move it to the catacombs location nearest to an investigator. Uh, when malformed skeleton attacks you, it deals either its damage or its horror instead of both. Well, at least it's uh, dated. Second action we'll play Miss Doyle, hoping to get something useful. So we'll shuffle the uh, cats that accompany Miss Doyle get one at random, and it is uh, Augur. So, uh, Augur helps us investigate. Uh, I think that is okay. And uh, we'll shuffle the rest into our deck. Okay, well. Last action, do we really want to investigate here, or do we just want to move on? I think this is too easy of a clue. Hopefully we'll get some uh, icons to evade again next round. So we'll uh, just use Augur to investigate. Uh, five versus one. It is a minus three, so we'll grab this. No. Uh, uh, there is the okay, so I forgot the obscuring fork. So instead, let's back up. Let's give me some break here. I'll use the old key ring. Uh, uh, wait, no, well, yeah, yeah, let's keep the original because uh, we are investigating five versus three. We drew a minus three, so we fail, and that is that. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. This guy readies, engages us again. This readies, we get... Uh, drop, discard this, draw two cards. Obscuring uh, unexpected courage and moonstone, so those help a bit. Okay, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. Two of six and counter card is grasping hands. I'll, uh, uh, let's see. I can tank a bit of this. I think I'll take a risk and uh, test two versus three. Uh, let's count. Actually, we have four. Okay, so we won't die and we can put one on this door. So I think I. Can live with that. It is a zero, so we take one damage. I'll place it on this toil. Okay. Um, first action will evade. I'll use the unexpected courage. Uh, it is a skull. It is minus one because it's one. We are one away from the starting location, so this enemy is exhausted again or evaded. And uh, we'll investigate using Augur. Five versus three. Zero. We'll grab this clue. Uh, the obscuring fog goes away. Last action. We'll uh, move here. 
and we have to spend one clue to move here. So we reveal a labyrinth of bones. So choose route two clues per investigator. When labyrinth of bones is revealed, put the top three catacombs in the from uh, in the catacombs deck into play below and to the right above, below and to the right. Okay, so that that is helpful. So uh, one, uh, two and three. Uh, let's see, so what we are looking for is in the bottom five, so one, two, three, four, five. There is still one location we don't care about, and after that we have to check all of them to find the correct location. So I'm just moving this enemy over here, because we probably are not moving to that direction. Uh, okay, so evade, investigate, move. So that is our turn. Uh, we discard this. We don't have the resources before we uh, draw cards and ready up everything. So that is unfortunate. So we get two cards, uh, Mist of Relay and Drawn to the Flame. So I'll definitely play the Mist of Relay to be able to avoid the Malform Skeleton more easily. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, the encounter card for this round is a Corpse Dweller. So we don't have any humanoids in play, so uh, if there are none, this can search. So that goes away and we get the Pit Below attached to your location. If there is no copy of the Pit Below attached, attach location gets plus one shroud. Uh, forced at the end of the round, each investigator at attached location takes 3 damage and discard the pit. So just add it over here. So we definitely don't want to be here at the end of the round. So I'll commit. Actually, yeah, I'll play Mist of Relay. I think this is our. Good enough location to draw onto the flame. You draw an encounter card. It is the shadow behind you. At the end of the turn, if you did not perform the above ability, you must either discard all of your resources or discard all cards and then discard this. And uh, Revelation put the shadow behind you into play in your threat area, limit one per investigator. So that is okay. We grab these clues. And uh, last action. We'll just keep on moving over over here, so we'll spend another clue. Tomb of Shadows, four shroud, two clues. Uh, when the Tomb of Shadows is really uh, revealed, oh, uh, just a moment. I think I messed up. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, uh, I, I messed up the setup, so I'll just fix it. So, instead of Tomb of Shadows, I should have uh, mixed the Gate to Hell into these cards. So, let's correct that. So, these two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the correct location we just entered. So, Candlelit Tunnels. I'll just reshuffle this uh, bottom bottom uh, five cards. Okay. And uh, two clues, three, sh uh, shroud of three, test uh, intellect tree to read an ancient sign. If you succeed, look at the unrevealed side of any catacombs location, group link once per game. And candle tunnel is revealed. Put the top two cards the left and right. So we put one over here. I think I'm uh, shuffling this over here. This is the problem of this scenario. Um, you really don't know how to s how the map will end up. So it is what it is. So we can't do this. So we lose all of our resources. 
then we discard it and that is that so okay uh, this hunts here we draw two cards manual dexterity and shriveling and we gain a resource and that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom four of six and counter card is a shadow behind you well I'm fine with that. Um, I think we can skip this location, so I'll just keep moving. Uh, so we reveal a block passage. When you reveal block passage, take two damage. You cannot leave block passage this round. Well, isn't that awful? Okay. Well, mm, we don't have resources to play shriveling. I think I will look behind me. Then I'll gain a resource. So next round we can play the shriveling, just in case. And that is our turn. Uh, this enemy hunts here. We ready up. Draw uh, discard. Oh yeah, we, we are discarding the shriveling, of course. We draw new cards, uh, drawn to the flame, promise of power, they, those are helpful. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another doom, so 5 of 6. Encounter card is, script chill, test. Intellect 4, if you fail, choose and discard one asset you control. Uh, I really don't want to discard any of my assets, so I'll commit the promise of power. We add one curse token to the back. We are eight again for minus two, so we pass, and we don't have to discard anything. Uh, first action. So now we need to go all the way back there because yeah. So. We'll move over here. So this engages us. We'll use the Mist of Relay. It is a minus one. Uh, we evade. Just place this over here because the book passage is here. And we are not advancing the map that way. Okay, and we get to move here. Last action. Uh, we will loop behind us. And we'll actually. Just thinking, should I possibly let that go? I'll let that go. So instead, we will draw onto the plane here and we'll get Obscuring Fog. Well, that doesn't bother us. We'll grab those clues and that is our turn. Okay, so uh, no enemy actions will go in upkeep. This enemy ready is we draw two more cards. <laughs> Okay, we gain the Watcher from another dimension, read the signs. So now we are drawing one card at turn. That sucks. And we gain a resource. Actually, we lose our resources and gain one. And this goes away. And that is okay. Yeah. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so we advance the agenda. And we get the uh, Spectre of Death. So it starts at the starting, uh, spawns at the starting location. 353. Three. Hunter retaliate. When Spectre of Death is exhausted, it takes one less damage from each attack it made against it. After you fail a skill test while attempting to evade Spectre of Death, it attacks you. So let's place it over here. 
and uh, yeah so mark it over here so um, now we have a doom limit of 12 uh, encounter card for this round is uh, catacombs doesn't nearest unrevealed location so we'll spawn it over here because we are heading upwards I think that is it so first action we'll use oh yeah we used already one and this is engaged with us so we'll use uh, charge from the mist of relay And it is, what, what is it? It is a minus four. So, uh, let's see. We don't succeed. We are only four against one. So, we'll try again. Minus two. We are lucky this time. And we get to move over here. And last action, uh, we'll spend. Oh, yeah, we probably. Yeah, we we'll spent one clue. Go up here. It is the Bonefield Cavern. While you are investigating the Bonefield Cavern, you have one of your hand slots. Okay. Okay, we only have one item in hand. So, post when Bonefield Cavern is revealed, put the top two car catacombs in the catacombs deck. It play below and to the right to the Bonefield Cavern. So we'll place this to the right. There are two clues here. That is our turn. Um, so this is evaded. Uh, no, this is evaded. So uh, enemy face, this hunt here. Upkeep, we discard this. Draw a new card. Gain a resource. This ready is this ready. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, one of twelve. And count the card is uh, eyes in the walls. Test willpower three. For each point you fail by take one horror. When assigning a horror from this effect, it must be divided as evenly as possible amongst eligible cards. I'm just testing for the three. Plus one, we succeed, so pass. Okay, and first action, I'll play cornered. Placed over here. Uh, I don't have any body slots, so I'll place it over here. And uh, second action. We'll move over here, and uh, it is the Well of Souls, Shroud of War, one clue. When Well of Souls is real, put the topmost catacombs step into the bay above, below, or to the right. So I'll place it um, above. And. Uh, Now, do we want to get this clue or move? No, uh, we want to move because the malformed skeleton is on our heels, so I'll spend my last clue to move. Uh, candlelit tunnels, so uh, two clues when candlelit tunnels is revealed, put the top two cut catacombs in the catacombs deck into play in the left and right. Okay, uh, we only have a few left. Oh, damn. Okay. So I'll shuffle because I'll shuffle these two because now I accidentally flipped that over. Okay. We are out of clues, so we need to get a clue from here next round. Okay. Enemy face uh, this enemy hunts over here. Uh, let's actually hunt over here. This hunts over here. Uh, upkeep. 
we don't have any cards in hand, we'll draw one card, Unexpected Courage, well that helps. And we gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, Encounter Cardis, uh, Crypt Chill, so I'm using the Unexpected Courage for this. I'm testing 5 versus 4. Minus one, please uh, succeed. So this goes here, this goes here. So, uh, first we'll investigate using Augur. Five versus three. Minus three, we fail, and uh, Second action, we'll use the old key ring to investigate. So maybe we lose a key. Uh, so uh, two versus one. And we can't discard the watcher for cornered, unfortunately. So minus two, um, we fail. So, last action, we'll try again, 5 versus 1, um, I mean 1, uh, 2 versus 1, minus 3, we fail, that's unfortunate, so uh, this engages us in the enemy phase, hits us for, I'll take the horror, so 3 horror, And this hunts over here. And uh, that is it. So we ready up. We draw a card. Another corner. And again a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. 3 of 12. Encounter card is. Eyes in the walls. Uh, I'm using corners for this, so 5 versus 3 minus 2, we don't take any horror first action, uh, we will evade by with the Mr. Brule minus 4, uh, we fail <laughs> that sucks we'll evade again uh, 2 versus 1 Minus one, we managed to evade. Last action, we'll investigate with Augur. Five versus three. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, minus five, so we fail. <laughs> we are pretty much stuck here. So enemy phase, this enemy hunts over here. This uh, doesn't do anything upkeep that engages us. Uh, we lose our hand, and we gain one card, and we gain one resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, the good news is that the loot, what I found, just hit my hand. Uh, now, if we fail the investigation, which we, of course, won't this time, we can grab both of the clues. So, we'll add a Doom, and counter card is the shadow behind you. Okay. First action, um, we will evade, 2 versus 1, well, lucky minus 1, we evade, we'll investigate using Ogre, 5 versus 3, auto fail, uh, we can treat that as a zero, so we succeed, of course. And last action, we'll spend that to move over here. And uh, we find the gate to hell, so when the gate to hell is revealed, put the top two catacombs in the catacombs deck into play above and below the gate to hell. Uh, so we put below. One clue 
uh, two clues, one shroud. So next round we'll grab one clue and try to run past the, that enemy. So this hunts here, this is evaded. And uh, we didn't loot behind us, so we'll lose our resources. And then we lose a card, we gain a card and gain a resource. Okay, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll add a Doom, uh, 5 of 12 encounter cards. It is a Catacombs uh, docent, so it spawns over here. Uh, that also helps us. We can just ignore that guy. Okay. Um, first action, we'll investigate it over. Uh, 5 versus 1, minus 4, we'll grab a clue, that's enough for us. Yeah, we lost one clue when we moved here. And uh, second action, we'll move over here, this engages us last action, we'll discard this for uh, the evade, so 4 versus 1, minus 1, we evade. Okay, so... Evaded. Enemy face, this hunts here. And uh, this ready is in the upkeep. And uh, uh, we draw a card, Patrice's violin, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so 6 of 12, halfway through the second act. Uh, encounter card is Poltergeist. Well, that sucks. Uh, I think we'll have to try and parlay. Mm. The Poltergeist messed up our whole turn. Quite badly. Oh yeah. Um, uh, so I can go to uh, up to four evade, but we need a zero or an auto fail. Um, uh, let's think. So first thing first, we'll evade the. Uh, the malform skeleton minus one, it is evaded. We'll just commit Patrice's violin because it has two agility icons to evade the polar guys. So we really need to get lucky here because um, otherwise, that um, specter of death will catch up on us. Okay, so uh, committing Patrice's violin, so four versus four. It is a plus one. Well, thank God that enemy is evaded. Last action. Uh, we'll move here. And it is the Tomb of Shadows. Two clues. So when the Tomb of Shadows is revealed, advance to Act 1B. While the man in the pallet mass is in, at the Tomb of Shadows, he gets plus one held and cannot be defeated by his action ability. So this guy spawns here. Okay, so uh, spawn the set aside man in the pallet mask, weakness in the tomb of shadows instead of its uh, spawn location. Check camp log if Kismaro Haruk is not listed under VIP slain so then counter deck and discard pile for Haruko and spawn. Well, uh, Haruko is dead so we ignore that at least. The path is barred. Uh, so objective, tell us how to stop the path from opening if the man in the pallet mass is defeated, advance, or objective, what is he trying to show us? Investigators in the Tomb of Shadows must spend it. the required number of clues to put to advance, and we need two clues, so... Uh, yeah, this is getting really clutch here. Mm, that is our last action, so... Uh, this enemy hunts here. 
this ready is this ready is we draw a card and we gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we'll add a doom encounter card is cool minion well uh, as as usual, we'll draw an enemy when we can't afford it. Uh, so we will uh, we will can we tank the cool minions' attacks to advance and then move and take. So did, that would deal us four in total this round. One, two, three, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and we don't have that clue. So we need two clues. We could grab one from below. I think that's... We'll just for, uh, ignore the victory point on this location. So, first action will evade. I will commit the last chance to the test. Minus two. We'll pass. This is evaded. Add it over here. And uh, we'll move. We'll. Let's see. We'll investigate using Augur for a last action. Five versus three. Plus one. We'll grab one clue. We still need one more enemy face. Uh, these enemies hunt over here. Uh, we the boulder guy stays there, and we'll ready up and we draw a card, winging it, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So two. Four, six, eight of twelve. And this is ready. And count card is a uh, corpse dweller. So uh, discard a humanoid enemy at any location and spawn this. So uh, we'll do it over here. Uh, we don't want to get enemies coming in from both directions. And that is it. And did that search? No. Okay. That is the Amythos phase. We will investigate with Augur. And yeah. Uh, five versus three. We want to commit anything? Mm, no. Five versus three. It is the auto fail, so we got a lucky break there. So it is a zero because of the wheel of fortune. So we grab this clue and uh, we'll move up here. Uh, we advance. Uh, if you spent the clues. Mark two doubt in your camp ballot. Remove the man in the pallet mask from the game. Advance to Act 3, A leading the way. So, just uh, go to this one. So, ignore the forced ability of block passage. Objective if each undefeated investigator is at the block passage. Advance. So, We'll evade using this with corner the ghoul. Uh, four versus two. A skull. One, two, three, four, minus four. So we fail. Okay, we'll go to the enemy phase. So these enemies hunt over here. 
cool it hits us for one damage and one horror so we have three health remaining and that is it so we're ready up we draw a card and all dexterity and we gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom uh, 9 of 12 and counter card please don't be a minion please don't be a minion a pit below oh yeah um, this is discarded the pit below was discarded earlier I totally forgot that those were there okay so pit below that let's see so so plus one shroud doesn't bother us so we'll just move away okay well uh, first action we'll evade using manual dexterity four versus two we really need to pass this one somehow and luckily we'll draw a car when we if we pass okay so if we pass let's think about it before so we'll move one two then one two so this hunt okay so we'll maybe get there in two turns okay so four versus two and we draw a card okay I'm getting a bit <laughs> a bit hazy this is a really clutch scenario minus two so we'll draw a card last chance this is evaded and move move so uh enemies hunt this uh hunts over here the rest hunt or oh, like this and that is that we ready up we draw uh, we discard a card we draw a card and again a resource okay and next round we can possibly get to the block passage and this gets discarded okay that is that round let's go to the hopefully last round 10 of 12 encounter card is eyes in the walls will commit guts uh, six versus three minus one we pass we draw a card stray cat that is okay so uh, first action move second action move and we advance resolution two well that that was a doozy but at least with even with most of the game only drawing one card uh, we got the setup done and could get there so resolution 2 uh, in your camp lock record that you know the site of the gate add two tally marks under chasing the stranger remove all tokens from the special tokens from the back so two elder tokens and add two tablets to the back and uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display and um, it is actually one we don't have any other victory point location so we got one experience which doesn't really matter that much but I'll take it so uh, we managed the scenario I really love this scenario too in this campaign it's always a nail biter and this time was no different he, uh, the tarot cards really messed up my gameplay but uh, one positive 
only drawing two cards a turn is that the watcher in the from another dimension is not a threat because we didn't draw a single elder sign and we still have uh, half of our deck basically remaining <laughs> so well um that is that uh, we'll continue from here to the black stars rise so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time